the Roaring Twenties, that exciting decade when cars, sex, and cinema were first commercialized and brought to the forefront of society. This was the time of F. Scott Fitzgerald, Langston Hughes, and Al Jolson. One of the first technologies that allowed for this fast-paced life was the mass production of the automobile. Auto assembly lines with interchangeable parts made the automobile affordable to even middle-class Americans. People now had mobility. With more paved roads and intercontinental highways, distant family was now no longer so distant. Traveling and vacationing was now a possibility, as well as late-night tryst on lover's lanes. This is also the era into which flappers made their way into popular culture. These women, who now had the right to vote, rebelled against formal dress and speech, wearing short skirts, cutting their hair short, and creating a new slang. The term flapper was one of these slang words, as one of the fashion fads they created was to wear galoshes with the buckles unlatched, so that the boots made a flapping noise as they walked. Another term they applied to themselves was shimmy dancers. Because with the new fast-paced jazz music, many liked to shake their chemises to the beat. Of course, many in traditional American society became concerned about the potential of increased promiscuity. Abilene even passed a law against mashing and petting in the 1920s. If you really want to know what these are, ask your grandparents. Also in the 1920s, moving pictures gave the world somewhere to spend its Friday nights and previewed the coming of a technological age. It got the nation started on what would eventually become an addiction to entertainment media. The drama and droll that ensued marked the development of a culture that was all-American, but also helped America fall in love with images and always popular western of the frontier that was now starting to fade away.